Introducing the all new Corolla. After a tense and abrupt ending to last week's oversight hearing, Speaker Judy Wanpat says Guahan Academy Charter School administrators are cooperating with her office in submitting requested information. During the hearing, Principal Donna Dwiggins and Board of Trustee members refused to answer questions from Wanpat and other members of the Education Oversight Committee, asking instead to speak through their attorney, Daniel Summerfleck. But the threat to subpoena documents has the school working to provide Wanpat with answers to the more than 40 questions she planned to ask at the hearing. We received some stuff um, in terms of their their uh, bylaws and their incorporation that was filed uh, with Ref and Tax, so that's definitely good. We've got an enrollment listing, but that in itself also is inconclusive because I know DOE has been asking for this to determine exactly then the remittance of money based on uh, what we call warm bodies in the schools, you know, with names, not just a number. The school staffing pattern has also been submitted, though that too is lacking information one pet would like to see, such as benefit and salary figures. And there are other documents the speaker would like to look over. We still have not received our, any contracts uh, that they've issued out. All they gave us in, instead are invoices. We've also, they've also give, uh, not given to us their nonprofit status, whether they've actually filed with, with Rev, Rez, Rev and Tax. They also, uh, we have asked for documents in terms of federal grants because we want to make sure that there are soliciting or at least uh, uh, writing grants to get more money to supplement the local uh, dollars that we give. While GACS did submit a financial report to the legislature for fiscal year 2013, None of these questions are answered in the public document in detail. It also does not reveal the cost of the lease for their facility in Tietzen, information that Wanpat also has yet to see. There's no lease agreement yet that we've seen uh, that signed, and I think that's very critical, and that should have been in place at the opening of the school year. Wanpat also claims that she has received no procurement records from the school documenting purchases and contracts. And she has questions about how the Board of Trustees conducts its regular meetings. No uh, notices of their board meetings that, you know, because we're required that if you're going to have a board meeting, you must give public notice uh, to everyone who are interested uh, to be able to come to the meetings that's required by law for all government entities. Uh, we've not received any uh, board meetings uh, minutes after June, so that means July, August, September, October, and November. We have not received any of those, and I know they have been meeting, but I'd either no one's uh, recording uh, their meetings. The speaker is hopeful that any remaining questions or missing documents will be provided to the Education Oversight Committee tomorrow, as the school has invited them to a meeting at that time. Wanpat will not be able to attend, but committee vice chairperson Aileen Yamashita will be there along with other senators and Wanpat staff. And because they're cooperating in terms of providing the documents, uh, and I'm hoping all of the, the documents that we've requested that we would not then have to FOIA for any other documents. Once she has all the requested documents, Wanpat plans to schedule another oversight hearing with the school's administrators. PNC contacted Guahan Academy Marketing Manager Therese Arroyo Matinane for comment today, but she is reserving any comment for Thursday. Following last week's oversight hearing, the school's attorney, Daniel Summerfleck, told PNC that he feels the legislature has no oversight over the charter school and that they instead answer to the charter school council. Betsy Brown, PNC News.